Welcome to SolidBox TV. I'm Bruce and today we're going to be doing a quick review on one of our newest arrivals, the Space Mouse Pro. It's hot off the injection molds and it's going to be the newest addition to 3D Connections line of professional 3D mice. Since it's just a quick review, we really haven't had a chance to do a full-on in-depth review. Today we're just going to quickly go over some of the pros and cons of some of the more notable uh, features and design changes uh, of this product. Now, if you look at the Space Mouse Pro, you know, by appearance, it really seems to fall in between the mid-range Space Explorer and the top-of-the-line Space Pilot Pro uh, in terms of its size, its shape, and, and some of the features that it has. So some of the things that we really liked off the bat um, were the Space Explorer-esque button layout. Uh, that's really one of the reasons why that I and, and a lot of people I know prefer the Space Explorer over the Space Pilot Pro was the button layout. Uh, so they basically kept the same layout, uh, but they made the buttons a little bit larger. So that's something I really like. Uh, the next thing are the keyboard style haptics. Now basically what that means is that the keys uh, feel and react like regular keyboard keys. The Space Explorer's buttons were a little bit hard in terms of uh, pushing down and the Space Pilot uh, Pro's buttons just felt kind of dead. You really couldn't tell if you were pushing them or you know, pushing the button down all the way. So um, I, I really like that feature uh, about this. And then of course the big one is the price. This thing's coming in at $299, so it's basically the same price as the Space Explorer. Now yeah, it's, it's still an expensive item, but Again, if you've ever used a 3D mouse, you really understand the value of having one of these devices uh, in your CAD work. A couple of the things that aren't necessarily uh, bad things, it's just kind of little uh, quirks that we notice, were one was the control button placement. Now the control button is probably one of the most important and one of the most used buttons on a device like this. Um, you know, when you're working in a large assembly or a really complicated um, part, and you're needing to select edges and vertices or components, you're, you really need to be able to find uh, that control button and uh, you know, be able to use it easily. And so that was just something that I kind of noticed that the, the control button felt a little bit cramped uh, in terms of you know, uh, activating that button. And the other part was finding it. On the old uh, Space Explorer, it had this little nub. I, I guess it was kind of like braille for those CAD users that just refused to, to not look away from their screen. But I mean, really, you, you don't want to have to look away from your screen uh, every time you, you need to press a button uh, on your device. And so that was just something that I found really helpful. So I don't know, maybe that's just something in a the revision they could do uh, to that button to make it a little bit easier uh, to find. Now, the other thing that we noticed uh, was regarding the menu button placement. And again, in the limited time that I had uh, to work with the device, I noticed that the menu button lined up uh, right with the side of my hand. And so, again, while in practice I never had an issue activating the menu button, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe if you've got ogre hands or something, you, you might run into that issue. But then again, they're programmable buttons, so you could program it to something else uh, of your choice. So then the last thing, uh, again, that we notice is the fact that it's not wireless. Now, I know there's a lot of you wireless haters out there, the anti-wireless crowd. And, you know, yeah, there's a lot of valid reasons for why you would want a wired connection on a device like this. But, you know, again, it would be nice that in the future, you know, if they're able to get the performance uh, to the point where it doesn't affect anything um, in CAD, it would be nice to have a, a wireless option on a device like this just to give you the, the flexibility and sort of the clutter-free uh, space on your desktop. Um, but regardless, I mean, this product I think is really going to be one of uh, 3D Connection's better products. I'm really looking forward to testing it out more and I'm personally considering, you know, getting it as a really nice replacement for my Space Explorer. So hopefully we'll be able to get you a, a more in-depth uh, review uh, in the future, but in, until that time we hope that you were able to find this helpful and uh, we'll see you next time. Welcome to another episode of... S oh, 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 TV. Actually, sorry. Yeah. Ah, I forgot you're gonna kick off. And we, ah, oh, that, that's, I should think of, I should have thought that through. All right, go ahead and cut. Cut, you're gonna have to 
we're gonna have to re-roll the other. Wait, I still gotta stop. Sorry. That, uh, all right, yeah. So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching Solid Box TV, and we hope to see you next time.